Marlin here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to try to create a new fall uh, garland for my mantle. Uh, I have a lot of parts and pieces here that I'm gonna go over with you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this together. I came up with this brainstorm really on our way back from Daytona Beach. I started thinking about my fall decor, of course. And I started thinking, my goodness, I would like a different kind of garland up there for this year. I have a lot of greenery going on. I'm tiring of the greenery a little bit. It's been up there for almost two years, except for at Christmas. So, you know, every now and again, I like something different. I like to do something different. So I had remembered that I have two uh, garlands, pipberry garlands, let me pull one out of here, that match uh, what I have on the staircase. And I had gotten these, I usually buy extras of this, just in case I want, especially when I have a big project like the staircase. You know, I, I always buy extras just to be sure that I can incorporate it and pull that same look into other parts of the house. So uh, I'm all about symmetry and about uh, having everything flow together nicely. So that was my, my, so when I bought this, that was my idea. So each of these, I believe is 55 inches long. These are actually mixed berry garlands and they are from thepipberrybarn.com. So as you can see, it is mixed berries with cream and blue, and they're large and they're small. These are really the pip berries, and then these larger berries. I don't know whether they're considered pip berries or not. But anyway, I have two of these, so I'm going to tie them together, and then I'm going to add some other elements to this. Uh, one is, if you remember, Lisa Sigardia, had purchased some of these to incorporate into her decor, and then she decided she didn't want to use them, so she sent them to me. Thank you again, Lisa, I love them. And I am going to incorporate two of these into the Pit Bear Garland. I'm gonna wrap it into the Pit Bear Garland. Then, to pull some fall in, uh, you all might not remember this, and those of you who have been with me don't know this, but all the other uh, elements on the mantle and in the wreath, uh, we will be adding to the wreath, are these. And so I wanna try to put a few of these, not a ton of them, but a few of them into the garland. I want to incorporate them into the garland as well to bring in the burnt orange element. My uh, fall decor this year is going to be again, blue and white and burnt orange. And I am doing some tweaking and some switching around of things, uh, but, and this garland being one, of course. So I'm gonna be adding some of these. Uh, what else I have here that I might add, or I may not, I don't know. I do have some of these blue pumpkin picks, six of them. And then I have uh, some, some pip berry picks, just cream pip berry picks that I may, and they have a little bit of green in them. I don't know, I wanna get it put together first, and then I'll see what I wanna to add to it and how I wanna bulk it up a little bit. Uh, I also have a set of 35 brown corded white lights. Uh, we got these off of, I can't remember where Chris got them, either Lighting Direct or maybe Amazon. It could be, I th do think I have some linked in my Amazon store. Uh, again, I did not purchase a lot for this. This is, I already had these in my coffers. Uh, the pumpkins I did purchase this year at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I already had the Pitbear garlands, and as I said, Lisa gave me these, and we both purchased them at Michael's two years ago out of the fall department. I have not been into Michael's. I do not know whether they still have these or not. So uh, anyway, so let me get started. I have some tie wraps here, and that's what I'm going to use to tie this Pitberry together and to tie everything on to this garland. After fall, like after Christmas, after fall, my Christmas garland will go up. And then what I might do when I take this down is remove all the fall elements and just leave the pit berries and then the blueberries and maybe the cream. And we'll see what that might look like for something different for winter, you know? 
So there's a method to my madness and I just want something different. I'm just really interested in finding something different for this year's garland. I have no idea whether this will come to fruition nicely or not, but you are gonna see right here as I start creating this garland. We'll see if my little brainstorm will work out here. But my week is filling up. Uh, one of the days I have a little book coming that one of my cousins, Heidi, wrote that I wanna share with you that is available on Amazon. That is due here on Thursday at some point. And so there might be a couple of extra videos coming to you from me this week. I wanna put that up as a standalone video to share that cute book with you. It's a children's book uh, that y'all might enjoy with your kids and grandkids. So uh, look for that coming up later in the week and plus some more fall decor, my mantle, and we're gonna get going. We are, my channel is gearing up, kids, again. <laughs> so let me turn my camera here and get you pointed in a way which you can watch me work. And I, there might be a lot of silence with me. I don't know in this. I'm probably going to be concentrating pretty hard to put this together. And it's going to take a little manipulating to get these Pitberry garlands ready to, uh, ready to go here. So I think, I believe these are both 55 inches long. As you can see, I haven't even opened this one. And I had just opened this one to, uh, to just take a look at it when it came. So I am going to spread the pit berries out and get them separated so that I can, the hand is gonna help. <laughs> It'll work on the other one while well, I'm working on this one. Might see a little bit of the hand. Uh, I don't mean to complain. I see, feel like I've been complaining a lot about my aches and pains as of late with my knee, but I've also tweaked my back. I have no idea how. It's called aging, so I'm struggling, you guys. I am struggling physically, so I am gonna do my best here so that you guys don't notice it other than me telling you about it. <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best here to keep going. And got some Advil on board, so hopefully that will keep it at bay a little bit. But I will probably go into some fast motion here so you're not bored to tears while I'm doing this. And I'll be back. Yes. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tie wrap and I'm going to tie the end of one of these blue and green garlands onto the end. Okay. We're going to run it. Well, I can do that laying down then. I'm going to run it right down the center. Chris has got a good idea. guys okay we're back uh chris and i are working together to figure this out it is a bit of a bear but if you want it to look pretty sometimes you have to work hard right so what we're doing we had taken the pit berries and spread them out like you guys saw one sprig on one side one sprig on the other and now we're going to take this greenery garland and we're going to attach it every so often with a tie wrap like I was doing before. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess and then we're going to tie in the, uh, the lights, the rest of the lights. We put half the lights on the other sprig over there, on the other part of the garland over there. And uh, then we're gonna put the two together and then I'm gonna add some other stuff to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and get this blue and green garland tied into the pit berry or the mixed berry garland and pause here a little bit our pool the gentleman just got here for a consultation so chris went out to meet him so i'm going to finish this up 
And then I'm going to turn off and come back a little later and finish. <laughs> Might have been too ambitious for me to try to do this today. <laughs> but I'm going to try anyway. Okie dokie, everybody. Well, I did not get this finished tonight. I might end up putting this at the beginning of my mantle video tomorrow because the pool gentleman just left and I will tell you all about that in another video. Uh, but here we go. Uh, we have the basics of this garland put together in that we tied the pipberry garlands together and then we added in the green and blue berry garland and then we added white lights. And the way we added the white lights, I didn't, we didn't use uh, tie wraps to, or cable ties to do the lights. We just wrapped the lights, wrapped the pipberry uh, vines around the lights. So I'm not going to finish the rest of this until I get it up onto the mantle. So I'm going to finish this on the mantle in the mantle video. So he, our pool guy was here from one until five o'clock. It is now five o'clock. And Chris and I are hungry, so we're going to go eat, and I'm going to put all this stuff away and revisit it tomorrow because I'm tuckered out. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'll be back when we're ready to put this on the mantle and finish it while it's hanging on the mantle. All right, Ryan be back. Arlen here, back here on Wednesday afternoon. Chris and I just got back from lunch, and we are fixing to put everything on the mantle. Now we're gonna start with the garland and the garland is in the same state as where you just saw it a second ago. We're gonna put it on to the mantle first and then I'm gonna add fall to it, I hope. As you can see here, it's hard for me to show you everything and how we do everything right up close, but I'm gonna to try to explain it so that you know. Uh, we have a lot of things, elements that are gonna stay put and I don't need to take them all down and give you a close-up look. Uh, but you can see we use, Chris always is really good at using metal coat hangers. Uh, they come in handy for a lot of different things. We have one coat hanger here, as you can see, and it, we've got it in a command strip, and we've got it kind of in an inverted V and hooked on to the command strip hook. We have a hook coming down off of this side and we have a hook coming down off the front here. We have the same thing here with the command strip hook back here and the coat hanger brought out and then hooked in the front. One here, one here, and then one on the other corner like this. And these coat hanger hooks are what we're going to use to set the garland down into and they will hold it into place. Uh, Chris has also made this spiffy little cover painted in the perfect grayish, which is our wall color, to, to slip over the, uh, the plug right here. And then I'll show you everything else as we put it up. But for right now, we're gonna get the garland put up. So I'm gonna keep the camera running, but I'm gonna move us over because Chris doesn't wanna be seen on camera, but I need his help. So hopefully I can get it to the point where you don't see him, you just see his arms, but you might see the back of my head and shirt and everything. So let me see if I can get the camera situated so that he can come in and help me put the uh, garland on these hooks. I may need to come back and show you the, you know, when we have it finished, but I'm gonna try here. Okay, placing the center of the garland right in the center on the center hook. And then I'm gonna go all the way around to the side and hook the end on this hook over here on this side. Yeah. I don't know how far back you went. A little bit. I think I would like the center one taken out. I think I would like it to drop. 
the swag down in the center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna take that hook off. I would rather it be, you know, swag down in the center. This is the first time we've used this, so it's gonna take a little bit to tweak it mm -hmm. and to get it the way we want it to go, you know. Okie dokie, I'm back. <laughs> you can see we have the garland up, just like I explained on the hooks of those hangers. And then what I wanna show you now is this is the bow. These are the bows that I'm, I've got one here and I've got one already hung up there. Uh, I made these bows a couple of years ago. This will be, I think, the third year that I've used these same funky bows. I want to say they are 10 loop funky bows, all made out of this beautiful blue with copper leaves ribbon. Oh, I love this. Got this from perpetualribbons.com. And I highly recommend, I've got a, a big ribbon haul for you sometime here. I don't know how I'm going to fit everything in, you guys. I've got so much to bring to you. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to hang this on this hook on this end. But I wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing differently on the little shelves, you know, where I usually put my angels. Look there. Can you see over there? I have a trio of rose gold, of all things, rose gold. I was looking for copper, couldn't really find copper on Amazon, but I did find rose gold taper candlesticks. Look at those and look how they match you guys. Is that not pretty? So I'm going to have three of these. They're tiered in height and three will go up on this little shelf over here and they are going to pull in the copper or orange, if you will, burnt orange, if you will, into this mantle decor. The first thing I want to do is put my bow up here. I can find the hanger. And the pipe cleaner on the back, see that? Just made a little loop. And then I'm just gonna put the loop down over the hanger. And then I will fluff and make it pretty once I get everything else done here. And I wanna make sure they're about the same height. one is higher okay and I will tweak that as we go all right I need to turn off for a minute Chris is going to get up on a ladder and put those put these candles up on the little shelf and then we're going to get these lanterns into place which we have to set our mouths right to to get them organized and then I will be back to put the rest of the stuff up on the mantle and then to add some fall foliage into the garland. It's a layering effect, you guys. Do it one, you know, if you're gonna go and try to do something like this in your own home on your mantle, it's all about layering and textures, in my opinion. I am layering, I even layered on the garland itself, layering the pip berries with the blueberry and green garland, and now I'm gonna layer in some pumpkins, and I'm gonna layer in some orange, uh, foliage like Chris just did into the wreath up there as you can see okay so I will be right back in just a few minutes after we get these lanterns into into place and get everything plugged in and then I'm gonna finish up all right all right be right back okay dokie you guys I'm back and as you can see we got the lanterns in place and we have the up lights plugged in which is just a little you can see the I got a my can't, what's holding my phone is not working out real well today so bear with me here but this little strip of light is just a piece of tape with led lights i believe i have them linked in my amazon shop and then you can see on the candlesticks i put those three tiered pumpkins on top of the, each one one on top of each one they do not light this year they used to light up they are so old they won't even light up anymore so we're not going to worry about lighting them up this year <laughs> i use glue dots like this that i will link in my amazon shop under crafts crafting to glue dot them onto those candlesticks next to go up will be my pretty blue and white 
colonial plates. These are Staffordshire plates, and this is called Independence Hall, these plates. And one will go right here. And one will go on the other side over there. Now, I need to go to the dining room and grab two vases that I have, cobalt blue vases with foliage in them. I'll be right back. Excuse me, foliage in them. I'll be right back. Chris is getting them. Thank you. <laughs> no. All right, here we go. These are cobalt blue vases that I found in secondhand stores. And I did find one of them online. I've got like four of them. I have two at uh, for the patriotic arrangements and then two for these. And I just have more of that orange foliage and cream pumpkin. I got those, I don't remember where I got those. I wanna say maybe at AC Moore, but they're not open anymore. But I don't know if we could find them or not. <laughs> Anyway, one go, will go on this side. Not sure if I need to pull them over. And one, actually, I think I want them. I don't need them on the shims. I have two shims here that went on either side of the coat hanger, but I think I want to move them over a little bit this time and just have the bottom of the vase snug up against it. Now remember I got that pumpkin the other day? I'm gonna get that and put that here and see how that's gonna look. Alrighty, here we go with the orange pumpkin that I bought the other day at, at home on the cream candlestick. And I'm just gonna put that right here in the center. Very simply done, nothing over the top. Here. The only thing that I see that's pulling my eye a smidge is I would need to move these over. At first I put them so that they were in line with the uh, sorry with the edge of the mirror but I'm not liking them there. I like them I like it so that they're separated going across the mantle. So I'm going to pull them in just a smidge. I'm really liking this, you guys, so far. It's a little different, subtly different, you know? And it is certainly not as busy as some of the designs that I've done, but it's not, not busy either, and it's okay. It's what I like, and as I always say, do what you like in your own home, and then you will be happy to look at it, right? <laughs> For the next several months. All right, now I have a few uh, pumpkins, blue pumpkins over here on my island. I need to run and get those, and I have some orange foliage like that, and I have some pip berries like this. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna gather those things, and we're gonna do something with these garlands. Okay, here we go. I just have six picks like this. And I am not going to, I might only use three, you guys. I really don't need it to be over the top. I just kind of want it to be, I don't know where the swag points are. Where are they going? Okay. 
Okay. Now I have just a few, I don't think I even need a lot of these because there is an element of cream running through. But I may just add a few more. You know, this direction on this side. Now, I'm really not gonna worry about going around the corners unless I do just a little bit with this. You can see I'm kind of tearing them down a little bit. And then kind of coming up in the center a little bit. And that, my friends, for now, is going to do it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So let me say my final words here to you guys. And then I am going to get the camera down and I will take you, I do a video all the way across set to music at the end. I, I really think I like it. I might be tweaking it. Let me put you down here. I may be tweaking it. I don't know. It is a possibility that I may tweak it when I get back from it and look look at it closer. Uh, I'm going to be honest. My back is screaming at me, so I need to sit down. <laughs> so I need to be finished. I need to be finished. Chris has helped me a lot, but I need to be finished today. So I love it. I think it looks really pretty. It's similar to what we did last year, but it's different. And I love the elements of the candlesticks. And I love the little orange pumpkin a lot better than I did the uh, blue and white one I had there last year. I like the bows again. They're so pretty. I love this ribbon from perpetualribbons.com. And I love the new uh, garland. I really, really, really like this new garland. I think it's going to be really pretty even through the winter months. When I take the uh, fall elements out of it, I think it's going to be super pretty. So... All in all, I'm happy, very, very happy with how the mantle worked out for this fall. Yay! <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Uh, I'm sorry to say that I don't have any mischief with Maverick today, but Chris and I are going to be going and staying with him on Saturday. Uh, Candace and Dustin have a wedding to go to, and we are going to be staying with him all day Saturday and Saturday night. And uh, so I'll have plenty of pictures 
coming at you guys this weekend and next week of the, the Mapster. <laughs> but I don't have any right now. Everybody's really super busy and, you know, <laughs> life is kind of like zipping all along, right? You know? So I'm sorry I don't have anything for you today, but I will t put a video of this at the end set to some soft music today. And uh, thank you guys for stopping in here today. I hope I didn't take too long uh, with this video, but this, this mantle will set the stage for the rest of the fall decor. As I always say, I start here, always. I start here on the mantle and that sets the tone for whatever seasonal decor I'm putting up. And the same is true with this mantle. So, all right, I'll be going to my final words. Thank you all so much for Thank you all so much for stopping in here today. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd love to invite you into my little YouTube family here. But with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.